In today's episode of the Pathfunk Presents podcast, I got a very interesting guest here with me today. I'm with Pooja Chitnis, and she's heading over from the folks over at Driftscape. And Driftscape uh, basically allows for flexible custom solutions that provide, you know, a very interesting um, discovery experience about your location. So we want to really deep dive into that uh, today, uh, talk about the customers, talk about the growth, but also how Pooja is thinking about sort of the different channels of growth. So Pooja, welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Of course, yeah. So maybe uh, give us a quick overview. Um, what would be Driftscape all about in your own words? Sure. So, you know, when thinking about Driftscape, you have to think of it in a twofold uh, way. One is organizations who partner with Driftscape to share their sites and stories through the app with people who are looking to explore uh, North America. So organizations like, you know, destination marketing organizations, regional tourism organizations, outdoor attractions like Pioneer Villages and museums um, partner with Driftscape to leverage its many, many features like augmented reality, self-guided tours, offline mode, automated business listings, you name it and it's there in the app. But they leverage these features to share more information about you know, their attractions, uh, their local businesses, um, their stories in a very engaging and creative way. Um, it's an ad-free platform that helps you gain that exposure for your sites and stories that are often missed out on and all for a fraction of a cost, right? So these organizations go to build their own app or you know invest in printed guides. It's, it's a huge expense, not to mention that printed guides go obsolete very quickly. So you, know, you spend repeat dollars on updating things um, and Driftscape helps you beat this challenge. The second way to look at it, look at Driftscape is from a user's perspective. Nowadays, all of us use our smartphones to plan our trips, you know, decide what to see, where to go, where to stay. Driftscape is a free mobile and web-based app that can help you discover everything that's really cool, like the hidden gems that surround you versus just the top 10 sites that you come across with a quick Google search. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, tell us a little bit about, about the typical clients. Who would be sort of, you know, the... Yeah, a sweet spot customer working with you guys. So uh, our typical clients, uh, like I said previously, are destination marketing organizations, regional tourism organizations, um, general tourism organizations or outdoor attractions like pioneer villages, museums, indigenous groups, anyone who has any organization that has like a site um, attractions they're planning to highlight, cultural stories that they're planning to share, local businesses that they want to promote. Any organizations of that nature would be a great fit. Very cool. Now, how do these guys learn about you? Let's say if we talk about the B2B angle, how do they, you know, get to know you guys? What's their journey looking like? And, you know, how do they ultimately reach out? So um, our sales team actually does a pretty great job at connecting with organizations that could benefit from a platform like ours, right? But apart from that, um, Driftscape has a really strong uh, customer support base. So we gain a lot of exposure out of word of mouth from our existing partners. But apart from that, we are very actively participating in trade shows, um, tourism or hospitality networking events. Um, we host educational webinars. We've even widely been covered by the media. So our brand awareness is pretty great out there, which helps us kind of get in touch with the right early. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Now, um, how do you think about the website then? Like what, what role does the website play in their journey? Our web website is more of like an educational tool for us. It's a, it's a place where, you know, if someone who is in that place where they're looking for a product like ours, but they're not absolutely sure uh, what Driftscape can do for them, it's a great starting place for them. They could kind of uh, learn about the kind of features that we have very quickly, um, try and get a sense of who our team is, um, what, how other partners have leveraged the app because we've got case studies and white papers um, posted there, their partner testimonials. So they can kind of gain that trust in us through our websites and our website is really easy to follow. So with, with just one click of a button, they can book a call with us and explore their options. Gotcha. Is there anything that you've learned uh, over the years as a marketer? Like when it comes to driving more demo requests, uh, you know, like any methods, approaches, maybe tools even that have been helpful? So, you know, the one thing I've learned is that the more personalized you make the experience for your leads, the better it is, right? We often, like as a company scales, we often go down into this one size fits all approach. But while your leads can 
potentially be sharing the same goal, the path that they'll take to achieve that goal can vary, right? So to identify, to do that analysis of each lead before you hop on a call with them um, or you reach out to them to set a demo is to see how they'll actually benefit from your product and educate them or create that awareness that this is the value we can help you get, right? I think that's uh, been a very important learning curve for me. Very cool. Now, um, let's switch gears a little bit, right? And talk about your journey as a marketer. Like what would be sort of typical projects that you would be involved in on a, on a daily basis? Oh, wow. That's that's a very uh, loaded question. So mm -hmm. at Driftscape, I'm currently the director of marketing and customer success. So I handle both aspects or both departments. Um, so my day-to-day -day is going to be um, ensuring that the brand is out there, people are hearing about us, loving us, um, they know exactly who we are and what we can do for them. Um, and from the customer success perspective, ensuring that they're reaping the value of the investment they've made in us, right? Um, we're definitely not the type of company who, you know, once a sale converts to a, a paying customer that we give them a hundred pager guide and say, there you go, now get to know how to do this. We we handhold our partners. We ensure that through their life cycle, um, they're understanding the product as well as we do and that they're making the most of what they've invested in us. But that's pretty much uh, my day-to-day -day -day job. Very cool. Now, um let's uh, jump into some rapid fire questions to wrap it up for today as we've been speaking uh, quite a bit about what you guys are doing i'd be curious to learn more about your perspective are you ready for those sure <laughs> what is the last book that you read oh wow that's an interesting question you know the last book i read was the book i authored myself <laughs> um i've written a book on modern marketing using artificial intelligence and i was reading it to see if i wanted to you know release a second version of it with more updates and things like that so that's what i most recently read <laughs> Very good. What is the one single thing that your company is focused on the most at the moment? Um, expanding into the U.S. market. We are, we've captured pretty much most of Canada uh, from a tourism perspective, and now we are looking to expand our reach. Very good. If you would have a magic wand, right, and you could change one thing for your role as a marketer, what's the one thing that you would fix? Interesting. Um what would I fix? I would try and get more time in a day for myself, honestly, because there's so much going on with me leading two departments that uh, I would really benefit from that. But I'm blessed to be part of a team where our uh, leadership is really focused on how on ensuring that we are equipped with all the resources we need. So there's nothing that needs to be fixed as such right now. <laughs> very good. And for the very last question, if today would be your very first day joining Driftscape, what would be the one advice that you would give yourself for that journey? I would tell myself, don't be afraid to take risks and challenge any um, other thoughts or objections because, you know, everyone works in their own way. Everyone has an opinion of the way things should be done. Uh, being able to make your thought process stand out from all of that noise in a very professional manner is really important. Very, very good. I really appreciate you took the time with us today. I want to give you the very last word. If people will be forgetting all that we discussed today about um about uh, you guys what would be the one thing that they should remember about driftscape driftscape is um a digital solution platform that can help make your destination or your stories unforgettable so if you are looking to take your visitor experience to the next level get in touch with us thanks a lot for being a guest on passing presents thank you